Welcome to Tal Vegas Super Speedway for the Insured Care 500, one of the biggest and baddest tracks on the schedule with speeds up to 200 miles per hour, four wide battles, flips, and most importantly, the big one. Let's take a look at our starting grid. In row one, Brian Spark and Jimmy Cables. In row two, Lightning McQueen and last week's winner, JD McPillar. In row three, Florida 500 winner, Conrad Camber and Master Dragon 4000. In row four, Brandon Power Car in that Game Bridge paint scheme and Cal Weathers. In row 5, Cruz Ramirez and H.J. Hollis. In row 6, Bobby Swift, the October winner here and Bubba Wheelhouse. In row 7, Jackson Storm and Daniel Suarez. In row 8, Steve LePage, the car that almost went upside down in the Florida 500, so you better keep all four wheels on the ground. And Ryan Laney. In row 9, Chase Race a lot and Phil Tankson. And the back is Colin Bargain because he had a horrible run in qualifying because he was unprepared for this week. Here's the race format 9 laps, 23.94 miles around the 2.66 mile track, and pit road speed is 55 miles per hour. Race cars in the pits. Here we go with Brian Spark and Jimmy Cables leading everybody to nine laps and 24 estimated miles around Talladega Super Speedway. Green flag is in the air. They're three wide already behind Brian Spark and Jimmy Cables, Master Dragon 4000, JD McPillar, and Lightning McQueen. You gotta find a drafting partner so you'll be able to go fast and try to pass everybody. <laughs> Colin Bargain is trying to find a partner. Brian Spark is all by himself. Meanwhile, the others are. Making it three wide, Jackson Storm trying to make a fourth lane. Here goes H.J. Hollis all the way to the outside. Brian Spark leads lap one. Master Dragon 4000 trying to catch up to the number 52, Brian Spark. They're trying to make it four wide behind the pack. Colin Bargains is drafting with his friend Brandon Power Car. Above wheelhouse all the way to the outside. Master Dragon 4000 in the second lane. Now they're about to make another one. Steve LePage, looking hot right now. They're four wide in the front straight away. Colin Bargain, drafting behind Brandon Power Car, Lightning McQueen, Cruz Ramirez, and Phil Tankson. The 10 is is one to look out for right now. Including Cruz Ramirez and Lightning McQueen. Ooh, a few cars got tight or got loose. Cal Weather is also trying to make it four wide again. Steve LePage is in the lead. I, I was not paying attention to Steve LePage though. Colin Bargain going left and right. He's trying to keep that car straight and get ready for the halfway jam.
We're back with five laps to go. Colin Bargain is in like the top five right now. And he got a bit loose. Steve LePage is mostly dominating this race. Brandon Power Car also trying to pass the number 34. Here comes Phil Tanks and wanting the piece of that action. Colin Bargain is saying that the steering is way too loose for this track. Well, it's obvious, you're obviously you're being loose if you're going like 190 miles per hour. And we got contact! The 82 of Conrad Cameras turns to number 10 and up and over the 4 of JD McPillar, last week's winner. Now upside down on his roof on the front straightaway. My god, that was wild. And the car won't go on all four wheels. Master Dragon 4000 also involved in the wreck. All SHR cars are involved in the big one. Let's see what just happened. The 82 made contact with the number 10. And then the 4 had nowhere to go and then he went upside down. The 4 just made a hard lick into the safety barrier. The number four, J.D. McPillar, was uh, going in circles upside down through the front straightaway. The red flag has been displayed, and here's the, another view of the big one. This is our first flip of this year, and we'll have an onboard with the other racers. Here's Colin Bargain. Before JD McKillar just flipped in front of Colin Bargain. Here's Bobby Swift. This is the second time he, he's dodged a wreck. And we'll be right back for the Insured Care 500. This is the big one. Welcome back to the Insured Care 500. We're back under caution, and we've heard that Colin Bargain is heading to the pits, so he's gonna follow that 55 mile per hour speed limit. He said he needs to repair that damage and, uh, re and replace all four of his tires just because he doesn't want a tire going flat in the final laps. And also, we didn't complete the remaining four laps under green, so we're gonna have overtime. And Colin. Forgot to pull over to his pit box, so he's gonna back up. He's a bit too big to the back. Now we're getting ready for him repairing and getting all fours. There he goes with 19 seconds and 20 milliseconds. And we'll be right back again. Welcome back to the Insure Care 500. We're ready to go back green next time by. The lights are off the pace car. We're about to restart double foul. And also, we're going to do two laps of overtime. So. If the leader does not get the white flag before the caution, we're going to have to restart again and we'll have unlimited attempts this time because we don't want anybody abusing the system. If the white flag comes out, the next flag will end the race. Here they go, splitting up. Steve LePage is going to start in first place, second is Phil Tankson, third Brandon Powercar, fourth Chase Race a lot, and fifth Brian Spark. The pace car is heading back to the pits. Three cars are out of this race, JD McPillar, Master Dragon 4000, and Daniel Suarez. 
If that incident with Conrad Kemmer didn't even happen, this race would have been over already. But nope. We're here for a green-white checkered restart. Here to go, through the restart zone. First overtime restart. The green flag is back in the air here at Talladega. Phil Tanks and so, so far is trying to to pass the number 40, 34 of Steve LePage. But instead Steve LePage is like, nope. I'm taking back first place. Conrad Camber is also hungry for another win after winning the Florida 500, which is one of the crown jewels. The next crown jewel will be the Antuo Cola 600 next month in May. Steve LePage is going to the outside. Brian Spark to the inside. Let's see if the inside is better than the outside. Phil Tankson trying to make a third lane. But instead they go back to two lanes. Brian Spark looking for his first win of 2024. Will they reach the white flag this time? Yep, here we go. White flag. Next flag will end the race. They're four wide behind the leaders. Brandon Power Car is going a bit slower. And he drops all the way to the back. It's a battle for the race win. Will it be Brian Spark or Steve LePage? Possibly Cal Weathers. Cal Weathers goes all the way to the out inside. He's trying to pass the number 34, but you can't go beneath that yellow line. Now, going through the front straight away. For the final time, who is going to be? Steve LePage or Cal Weathers? And it's Steve LePage. By just a few inches. That was wild. Here's a replay of what just happened. Yep, it is Steve LePage. Congratulations to Steve LePage winning the 2024 in Sherry Care 500 here at Talladega. Cal Weathers, his playoff, uh, his playoffs hopes for him being locked in. Was so close. Uh, there's contact with Brandon Power Car and the 28 Phil Tankson. What is up with Brandon Power Car against the number 28? They better not start a dangerous rivalry here at Talladega Super Speedway when we come back here in October. Because that will be dangerous like Carl Edwards and Brad Keselowski in the NASCAR Cup Series back in 2009. Here are the official results. Bubba Wheelhouse is the fastest car of the day with an average speed of 194.99 miles per hour. Next week we are racing at Dover Motor Speedway for the Trunk Fresh 400 starting at 3 p.m. Pacific and 6 p.m. Eastern. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe and see you at the Monster Mile. This is the Candy Cat 127 signing out.